Gordon was resting in the siding. It was a hot day and the express had been heavy. I get so out of breath, he complained, but nobody cares. They just say, I'll be all right after a rest. Get the fat controller to give you tanks and a bunker, suggested Thomas cheekily. You feel a new engine. We tank engines never get out of breath, you know. Perhaps it was lucky for Thomas that poor Gordon hadn't the energy to reply. The men worked hard on Gordon, but they couldn't make him better. You need new tubes, Gordon, they said. You have to go to the works to have them fitted. While Gordon was being mended, Henry called the express. But one morning, just before Gordon was due back, Henry was ill too. We've no spare engine except Thomas, the inspector told the fat controller, but he can't pull the train on his own. Could Percy help? asked the fat controller. The inspector shook his head. The two of them with Duck might manage, he suggested. It's only as far as the works. They're sure to have a spare engine there. So, the three tank engines were coupled together. Thomas nearest the train, Duck in the middle, and Percy at the front. Then, slowly, they started. Come on, come on, fussed Percy importantly. We're doing it, we're doing it, puffed Duck. Pull harder, pull harder, rumbled Thomas to the others. The heavy train drew out of the platform. The engines couldn't go as fast as Gordon, but the passengers didn't mind. They knew that Percy, Thomas and Duck were doing their best. Expresses are not like branch line trains. They don't stop at all the stations and the engines don't have a chance to get their breath out. Soon the three began to feel tired. They struggled valiantly up Gordon's hill, but the strain was beginning to tell. I'm glad we didn't stick there, thought Thomas. Gordon would never have let us hear the last of it. But the hill proved too much for Percy. His driver blew his whistle and stopped the train. We can't take you off, Percy, said Thomas's driver. Do the best you can to keep your brakes off. It's not far now. This made things harder for the other two, but they struggled gamely on twin columns of steam shooting high into the air. Percy had no steam left to say anything. They were just passing the works when Duck found he could go no further. Thomas could not pull the heavy train on his own and the cavalcade came to a standstill a few yards short of the station platform. And there, standing watching from the works siding, stood Gordon. The fat controller who'd been on the train told the three engines he was proud of them. You did very well to get so far, he said, and now you deserve a rest. Duck, Percy and Thomas were uncoupled and a new engine took their place. As the tank engines moved wearily away, Gordon looked at Thomas and smiled. Then he took three deep breaths and winked. He didn't need to say anything. Thomas knew exactly what he meant.